The way to handle a question like this is to identify that we have a sin squared and a sin. So that's almost like a trinomial, but then this part here gets in the way. So what we do with a question like this is we use our identity, sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Let's get cos alone, so that's going to be cos squared x is equal to 1 minus sin squared x. We are now going to take this and put it in the place of cos squared x. Notice there's a 2 there. So what you do is you just say sin squared x plus 5 sin x minus 2 bracket 1 minus sin squared x and that's equal to 0. And so that's going to be sin squared x plus 5 sin x minus 2 plus 2 sin squared x. Now we have a trinomial looking expression but let's just put these two together so that's going to be 3 sin squared x like that. Now what you do is you could you can try factorize if you want but I typically just use the quadratic formula over here so you know the x equals minus b plus minus square root that one uh, this would be a your number 3 this would be b and this would be c. You don't want to have to use the sin on the calculator a lot of students try that it doesn't work. Okay, so if you um, use the quadratic formula, you should get that, you should finally find that sin x is equal to a third or sin x is equal to negative 2. Now, these two parts become separate questions, and so we can start the whole general solution process on each one. So, step one, find your reference angle. So, your reference angle for this one, you say shift sin and that's going to be 19.47 degrees so then what we do is we go see okay sin is positive because it's a third so we're going to work in quadrant number one and two so one and two then this whatever's over here goes first so we say x equals two and x equals two in quadrant two it always says 180 minus and it's always going to be your reference angle that you minus. In quadrant 1, there is no starting point. So you just go immediately to the reference angle. And then we always have to do that whole plus k times 360. k is an element of z. You might use a different letter. It doesn't matter. Here we've got to say it as well. And so this one's already solved. This one over here gives us 160.53. Okay, so that's done over there. Then on this side, remember you mustn't put the negative on the calculator. You're going to get an error on your calculator when you do this one. This one is a no solution. Okay? And so you just say no solution. Now, if we only stopped over here, this would be called the general solution. Now, you would do that if they don't give you an interval. But if you go up to the top here, where the question started, they give us an interval and they say find the specific solution. So what we now do is we try find specific answers in the interval from 0 to 90. So I'll start with this first one. If you make k equal to 0, then x would just equal, let me open up a bracket so long, x would only equal 19.47. If you let k equal to 1, the answer is going to be 19.47 plus 360. That's going to be too big. If you let k equal minus 1, you're going to get a negative answer, and that won't work. So from this side, that is the only answer we can get. Then we can try this side over here. But if you try any value of k, including 0, it's going to be outside of this interval. And so, in fact, this is the only answer.